All right, in this scene over here, we're talking about brown cigar syndrome, represented by this guy over here who is smoking a brown cigar. Brown cigar for brown cigar. Now, in this scene over here, this guy unfortunately got stabbed in the back, <laughs> causing heavy section of the spinal cord at the level of C8. This is what brown cigar syndrome is, hemi section of the spinal cord. We see that on the blue side over here, which is the contralateral side, it says no more pain and can't feel the heat. He likes keeping these stickers on his jacket. No more pain reminds us of loss of pain and can't feel the heat reminds us of loss of temperature sensation. In brown cigar syndrome, a few levels below the level of the lesion, on the contralateral side, there will be no pain or temperature sensation. On this side, we see this motor over here of some sort, and it's exploding. This reminds us of the loss of the motor function on the ipsilateral side, directly below the level of lesion. So in this example over here, below C8, there will be no motor function. There will be paralysis. And this feather over here reminds us of light touch. I guess because you touch a feather lightly. Light touch is also lost on the ipsilateral side, below the level of C8. Let's explain why all of this is true. If we take a look at this poster over here, we see that hemisection of the spinal cord affects the dorsal columns, the lateral cortical spinal tract, and the spinothalamic tract. The dorsal columns supply vibration and proprioception and light touch. The lateral cortical spinal tracts supply motor function. These don't cross paths until much further up, and therefore, hemisection over here will lead to loss of these at the level of the lesion and below. However, the spinothalamic tract, which supplies pain and temperature, does cross paths, about two to three segments below. See over here that sensory neuron comes in at the level of T2 and then goes up to C8, and therefore hemisection at C8 will not affect this neuron over here, nor will the sensory neuron coming in at T1 or at C8. This is why pain and temperature sensation, first of all, comes from the contralateral side, since it crosses paths, and doesn't begin to affect the person until it ascends two or three segments. Thus, this person over here will have continued pain and temperature sensation right in this area over here. So just to review, in brown saccard syndrome, there will be ipsilateral loss of vibration and proprioception, as well as motor function, on the ipsilateral side below the level of the lesion, in this example at C8 and below. There will also be contralateral loss of pain and temperature sensation, as well as crude touch, on the contralateral side. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this scene. Take care.